I'm Meg. Hi, I'm Sweeney. I'm Kat. And we're all from All Abroad Podcast. And we're food tripping with Adobers.net. We started late 2019 because Mike wanted to give that same other away to our friends as uh, Christmas presents, you know, and that's how it got started because through word of mouth. And we started a little early trying to you know, get the recipe. Well, we had the recipe, but we, the process, we were trying to get yeah. the process right, yeah. you know, and. You 2019 know, Christmas? Two, Christmas 2019. Ah, okay. That then we were already sold out. We were for Christmas already. Wow. Because imagine we were. Because you have a lot of friends. We had a very small oven from the house. Oh, yeah. You know, we had a regular the oven. Yeah. Small yeah. oven, lots of friends to feed. Yeah, so. I mean, and it wouldn't fit, fit the, the, the big trees. So you yeah. have to like bake all day. Yes, it's pretty it much, yeah. you know. You have to bake. At it's least your house smells good trick. all day. Yes, that's, that's, that's the true. good thing about that. <laughs> and I asked Mike, are you sure you want to do this? You wanna, do you want to make something out of it? Yeah, you know? and, and tell us who Mike is. Oh, Mike, Mike is my partner, my husband. Okay. You know? <laughs> and he's, uh, he's the one who does the baking. He's the one who does most of the things in the yeah. store. We'll and tell us a little bit why it's called Max and Lucy with oh, all these it's like called really Max cute. And Lucy is because of uh, the name after our dogs, yeah. Max and Lucy, uh, uh, the corgis. Who had a baby, apparently. Yeah, who had a baby, uh, Hawkins. Hawkins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the pandemic hit. In March, and we got back. It's like, major bad timing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it was also during that time that um, the groups, the Filipino groups, started, you know. Blossoming and being blossoming, more active. Yes, and like online. online. Like Facebook groups online. Yeah, Facebook. yeah. But, you know, so much so that they were running out of yeast. Yeah. You know, yeah. remember yeah. that? Probably because people were just baking from right. home and a lot of uh, Filipinos started to have their own specialties mm -hmm. in the group, you know, yeah. and then they started doing pop-ups, yeah. you know, and we joined, we joined those pop-ups and uh, it started from that's there, how, yeah, the word of mouth started. Yeah. Uh, and now you uh, have your own location. Yes. This um, is really cool. The Filipino community was very supportive. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. I really appreciate the mga in support ng yeah. uh, Filipino community because it's really They've been very good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah very good to us. So yeah. tell us about your um, story, family story in Dumaguete. Oh yeah, so because uh, um, our family is from Dumaguete, mm -hmm. and um, my grandmother started uh, San mm -hmm. in Dumaguete in the late seventies. You know, and she's the one who taught my mom mm -hmm. how to bake. Mm -hmm. You know, and then my mom started. Uh, House of Savannah in Manila. Yeah. You know. And was it hard to get the recipe from your mom? Sorry. Yeah, too. No. No, she's like, here you go. Yeah. You didn't have to pull her leg. You didn't have to convince her. No. It's like passed down, you know, generation, generations of recipes. Amazing. It's part of our. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Well, we should try these. Uh, Ensaymadas, the others, they have some really good special Ensaymadas and also the one that you really started with which is the regular yeah, the one, classic. correct? The classic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really excited about it so we're going to head into the kitchen and we're going to go get yeah. some good Ensaymada yeah. into this system. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to dive in? Yes, look I'm at this. I'm excited. So, what do we have here, guys? We have the, the classic, classic ensamada, mm -hmm. the ube, ube with cheese. cheese, the queso de bola, queso de bola. and then yeah. Ferrero, Ferrero, mm -hmm. Ferrero um, ensaymada. All right, let's dive in. Yes. Okay. That fork right there. Oh, it's like it. Let's do yeah. the classic one first. No? We should try. <laughs> well, everyone's excited. Ah, we're excited. We're, we're going to try different go things at the same time or what? Yes. We're okay. just going to go for it. Uh, first of all, it's very soft. Yeah, very soft. 
Um, buttery and it melts in my mouth. It I, does melt. I probably just chewed it like three times and the rest just went down. <laughs> it was like, yippee, slide down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Oh, you went for the forever first. How, how is it? Talk now. Now. I'm going to go for the kiss. How, how, how was the Ferrero in Tamada? It tastes like Ferrero and me as a chocolate enthusiast. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, now that's next then. I am a chocolate. And the crunchiness. Mm. Oh, nuts. there is crunch! Mm hmm. And I love crunch. I like them. I love the case of the, the bola. There's like, you can see the, the texture visually. And now my mouth is gonna. Mm. I think my favorite is case of the bola, even though I haven't tried the pear area yet. Mm. But I just like the cheesiness of it. I won't even pick a favorite. They're all favorites. <laughs> but the queso de bola, that's the same answer. Yeah. The queso de bola is because it has cheese inside. And the queso de bola on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, on top. Okay. It's murder. You <laughs> try. Let me try. The Herrera. You guys. So this is like best merienda. Like, mm -hmm. if you guys are looking for something, first of all, really good with coffee. Mm -hmm. And oh, then yeah. when you have parties, you know, you can order like a dozen of everything and then I think you'd be like a fa the favorite family member. If you're trying to win points with your family, you have to order these for sure. Mm. And it's really yummy and also very filling. It's like I can eat like two and it's like I'm good. But it's also so, it doesn't so feel good. heavy. It doesn't feel heavy, but it's like filling in a sense that like, I don't feel satisfied. Yeah, just because before we came here, I was like, oh, we're going to eat in Samada. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be so full. But uh, I feel like I ate. It's just right. Yeah. It's it's fluffy. It's buttery. It's moist. What else? Adjectives can we say? It's delicious. <laughs> it's yummy. Delectable. I'm uh, going to again. What is that? I want to side with the chorizo, chorito. So Meg, if you guys didn't know Meg, Meg lived in Madrid for quite some time. And when I visited her, I was that year, year years old when I found out that Spanish um, pronounced some of the Z's with T H. With a lisp. With a lisp because of the king had a lisp, right? Like Tumba. Let's go Tumba. <laughs> yes. Tumba. Tara. Tara. Chorizo. Mm, mm, mm. I like the chorizo. That's my favorite. This is so cool. This is like this could be like your bottle. You don't mm -hmm. need rice. You don't need mm -hmm. Yeah. Pop it in the microwave. Yeah. Perfect. Hi, I'm Don from Max and Lucy's Bake Shop, and you can find us on the Dover Stuff Network.